Okay, welcome back to part two. Right in the previous one, um, this is the monster spawner, and reason I have these wall here is because the uh, glowstones and the traps on the the um, pistons underneath does not accept glass. That's why I cannot have those there. This is why I can only use wool, um, wood, or stone or cobblestones. That's pretty much it. As you can see here, this has been going on for quite a while now. And okay, here we go, the pig spawner. As you can see, even without the switch on, the pig spawner still spawn these bastards down. So let's go give them a good kill out quick. Sometimes they cannot get to these lot here. Right, so sometimes if you just can't be asked, just hit this green switch here. And it pushes some of them in, but you can't get all of them. I'm working on something that gives title push, but it will interfere with these switches above here. Right, so the blue switch here convert the um, pushes all the um, pigs from above where they spawn down to the second the second area right over there, and the pink switch pushes them all the way down so they can fall right down here. So sometimes, sometimes the pigs just fall straight down because the water pushes them down. They'll just fall down there sometimes. Apparently. Most of them does not fall down here and it comes, you know, going over to the side there and over this side here. So it's kind of hard to get to those. That's why I built the pink switch here. So you flip the pink switch. Turn this one off. So you don't um, you know, destroy the grass above. If your water keeps going over the grass, the grass will disappear and become dirt. As you can see, they're all falling down. And I'm gonna kill these guys out here. And I'll show you how it works above. How they spawn and fall out. So we're going up to the pig spawning section here. As you can see, they're all put spawning out from there. Right, so I'll leave the water on above. So it can push them right in the middle. I hit, I leave the switch here so it can control the water. I can watch all of them fall. Sometimes you need to give them a little push to knock them off. Because they don't listen. Like that guy. And these guys. So the water push them all the way down there and they fall back in. Right in the middle. If you leave the water on too much, this area will become dirt. That's why I built this gate here and grass is over here so the grass can repopulate this section here. Just a little thought. Uh, put this gate here so, as you can see, some of them might die and some of them might not die. But when they reach down there and hit them with a sword once, they die right away. As you can see. This idiot right here. Turn off. No. Yep, as you can see, it's been going on for quite a while now. Yeah, this is about basically it. That's all I've been building so far. Uh, let's go back to the monster spawner. I can see even if it's off, sometimes monsters fall down the hole because some of them are just plain, completely idiots. So if you watch what happens when you're too close, he shots me. That's why I built this here. It says, "Do not cross the blue block." 
get about here and walk in front of it at this point here. And just smack them. So you have to be careful. Careful not to cross this blue block as all time because sometimes I do cross it and well there's a slight chance of a um, creeper dropping from above and pff, you know it's gonna blow the shit out of this place and everything's gonna be ruined so when you do actually want your items just hit the yellow switch because when they fall above they can't really sense you because this glass here sense you very well so you just walk right on top of the blue block and you pick up all your items put it back again and then smack the crap out of them uh, let's see this is where my uh, sleeping quarter is as you can see it says sleeping player sleeping quarters I put a lot of bed because I know a lot of people is going to start I want to jump in the damn game this is my custom made one down here completely glass as you can see down here good ass view very nice view uh, let's put this sideway here oh you can't put it sideway really oh that sucks Look at there's an enderman down here. See him glowing red. Yeah, this is about all I've been doing. Soon I'm gonna update this one with a potion brewing. But for now, this is in V1 stage. If you stay by the pig and the monster spawn, you're bound to level up very quickly to level 30. And this is when you can activate your your XP, your enchantment for having those infinity weapons. As you can see here, I only have six arrows. Put all this in here first. Right, as you can see, I only have one arrow in my pocket here, which is this one here. So, don't worry, the fire system is turned off so it doesn't burn in accidentally. That is why I actually have this on. To have the infinity, you upgrade your weapon at level 30. You have to be level 30 to upgrade this weapon. I will put a link in the description soon when I update this to V2. So right now it's in the beta stage. Well, not V1, I would say beta stage right now. Because I still have a lot to go through. I haven't even built the net around me so I can get to the potion section. This is really wanted to do that. And plus I'm really sleepy at the moment. As you can see here. I don't know if the enchantment can go to level 40 yet. So I haven't heard anything about that. Maybe it'll come in an update or not. I don't know what level 30 does with these diamonds. So, it's kind of odd. I need to find out what it does, but this is probably the best I can do. Anyway, fellas, um, yep. I will be I will be um, still making this for quite a while now, so in beta stage, I'll update when I can. So, yeah, enjoy. It will come soon anyway. V1 will be out soon.